Mentora is, oh man, she's just someone who really inspires imagination and creativity and it inspires deep thought. Kintara's work is engaging. It's communicating to the viewer about identity and race and how we have to be, have our own agency in the world. My name is Kintura Davis and I am an artist and teacher. My love for art began really early. My dad is also an artist and my mother is a quilt maker, so I kind of grew up in a household that was very encouraging. And so I grew up always wanting to be an artist. I've always been really interested in portraiture. That eventually led to this really early experimentation with thinking about language and writing and all the ways language affects how we understand ourselves and the world around us. I photograph people, friends of mine, friends of friends on a fairly regular basis. Usually at the same time I'm reading a lot and sometimes writing or even just like interpreting the text that I'm reading. So I'll keep like a running list of phrases or ideas that I think would be interesting and in, in pairing with the portraits and then at some point, something just kind of locks in with, in terms of which image I want to use and which text I want to use. And then I bring that together in the drawings. Women are central to my work, so I think about it all the time. It's something that is really meaningful to me or having other women, especially women of color, say that they feel seen in the work. And that means uh, so much to me. I really enjoy kind of hanging around the neighborhood and Highland Park is perfect for that. You have like York Boulevard and all these amazing shops and, and restaurants to go to. So I do spend quite a bit of time um, collecting my sources of caffeine over there. Um, other places I really enjoy being is in Lamarck Park. And so one of my favorite bookstores is Essawan. And then one of my favorite places to eat is over there to Asla Vegan, which is owned by my friend. Yeah, that's a really special neighborhood with um, a lot of history, um, especially in terms of the arts. There's so many things about Kintora that really impressed me. I mean, obviously she's just such a talented artist and I, I just really love the, um, the sense of wonder and curiosity she has. But I think the thing that I, I am most impressed by Kintora is just what a solid human being she is. So that's the thing I love most about her. So I, I started teaching actually right after I finished grad school. I am an assistant professor at Occidental in the art history and visual arts department. I really love being an educator. The kind of teacher I try to be is, um, you know, I try and establish an environment where we're all learning from each other. And so that's how I always want to try and structure the class is to just set up a kind of framework that um, allows them to share their own interests and their own sort of developing expertise. With uh, Kentura, she's really devoted to her artwork and she's taught for us for three years now. And she had a natural understanding and a lot of knowledge about art. And she seems to be a very generous person, generous soul. I love LA because it's home base and just thinking about sort of like the pockets of neighborhood, like I grew up in Altadena, then I spent a lot of time in Highland Park and Eagle Rock area. LA is unique and amazing for all of these sort of like pockets of neighborhoods that have very distinct feels and sort of characteristics to it. Yeah, it's just, it's warm and chill and amazing. Yeah.